Now, yesterday, the producer for Lucid Dreams by Juice World came out and revealed something that's been going on behind the scenes regarding the track, so without wasting any time, let's actually talk about this. Now, Nick Mira is the producer of the Lucid Dreams instrumental, he was also the person who made the Fuck Love instrumental by XXXTentacion, but he hopped on social media and said this right here, Fuck Official Sting and his whole team. After taking 85% of Lucid Dreams for interpolating Shape of My Heart, not even sampling, he threatened to take us to court for trying to get any percentage. Sting also flexed stealing our money and said it put his grandkids through college. This actually had a lot of people upset and Sting, who is of course a songwriter and musician, he was getting a lot of hate because of this. But as you can see, he mentioned the fact that he didn't really sample Shape of My Heart, but he really interpolated it, which means he just recreated the same exact melody on his own. And the original melody comes from Sting himself. You might also recognize the sample from The Message by Nas. Fake dog, no love, you get the slug, CB4 gusto. But Juice World decided to speak out about this entire situation, and this is what he said. Lost millions, made millions, the song impacted too many people in a good way for me to be upset over it. There's always more money to be made, and I will make it so. First of all, I just want to salute Juice World for not flipping this bad situation and making it even worse. You gotta realize the amount of money Juice lost out on here. Lucid Dreams is without a doubt one of the biggest tracks of 2018. The amount of radio play and streams it's been getting is absolutely out of this world. But apart from that, it led to Juice World himself building a lifelong income stream because apart from this one song, he has plenty of other records that are extremely popular and people are supporting and streaming them. So I think that's the perspective he's looking at this from. Yes, Sting was very much stingy and very much greedy with wanting to take them to court for pursuing a percentage of the record's revenue. But don't forget the impact Lucid Dreams has had on Juice World's life and career because he's clearly one of the biggest new faces in music right now. But regarding Sting taking 85% of the track, I definitely think that is a little bit too much. Of course, it is his own original melody that he created, so technically he always negotiates on his terms. So let's take I'll Be Missing You by Diddy that samples a song by Sting himself. Seems like yesterday we used to rock the show. I laced the track, you locked the flow. since Diddy sampled Sting's song in 1997 and released it and it became an absolute smash hit, how much do you think Sting is receiving from the revenue this song is currently making? Maybe 50%, 70%, 80%, 90%? No, he receives 100% of everything the song makes. $2,000 every single day and $730,000 every single year. That's how much Sting is making from Diddy simply not asking to use the sample and clearing it. To be fair though, this is probably Penny Stim because because if you're making Diddy kind of money, then you definitely don't have to worry about this. But I'm just trying to make a point here. This entire thing that's going on with the Lucid Dreams, it really does happen a lot and that's why it is so important to clear samples. Because if your song blows up and becomes popular, then you're gonna have to throw the bag to the person who made those original melodies. Now, that's what I personally have to say about the corruption of Lucid Dreams. But what's your opinion on this? What do you think about the fact that Juice World is pretty much getting pennies from Lucid Dreams? Definitely let me know in the comment section below and Let's have a discussion about this.